First of all, my name is Mr. Widener. I teach audiovisual technologies. We have a three semester program here where at the end of three semesters, you're actually industry certified in an international renowned pathway and that's Adobe certification. So by the time you come to me for three times at the end of the pathway, you're gonna end up being Adobe certified. If you like computers, if you like music, if you like recording studio type things, this is the class that you might want to consider being in. We have absolute cutting edge technology. As you can see behind me, we have televisions all over the walls. We have a full-fledged recording studio. It's a fantastic thing to do. So audiovisual technology, my name is Mr. Widener. Our course does offer a CTSO. It's Skills USA. And basically, if you are involved with my Skills USA CTSO, you are my competitive team. I take all my competitive teams from my Skills USA group and we go different places and we compete doing video production. Last year we went to Atlanta. I took four kids to Atlanta with me. We spent a couple days at the state level, had an absolute blast at the Skills USA state conference. A lot of good things. So if you're into competition, if you like to be competitive and you really like showing off your creative skills, Skills USA might be a place for you as well. Okay. Um, my pathway is the business and technology pathway, and it consists of three courses. The first course is Introduction to Business and Technology, and that is our intro course for both of our business pathways. Um, you get to learn a little bit about all aspects of business in that course. The second course in my pathway is Business and Technology, and in this class, we focus mainly on Word and Excel. And then the third class, which is the final class, is where you will take your end of pathway assessment test. And when you do that, you will be certified in Microsoft PowerPoint. You can also certify in Microsoft Word and Excel. And you get your cord at the end in graduate, for graduation. The CTSO that is associated with business is FBLA, which stands for Future Business Leaders of America. I've been an FBLA advisor for over 30 years here at Wayne County High School. We do a variety of things. We have competitions. We go to leadership conferences. We do a lot of community service. Um, we do some leadership building skills. So we have um, activities just about for everybody. And after the first two classes, intro and essentials um, to healthcare, you can have the option of coming into what we call patient care fundamentals, which is where um, you can receive your certified nursing assistant. Um, and become actually a registered with the state of Georgia. What we do in this class is um, personal care skills. We do a lot of hands-on where we learn how to, you know, bathe patients, feed patients, um, take care of them, dress them, those sorts of things. Our CTSO is HOSA and um, it's HOSA Future Health, Health Professionals. What we do with that, we do a lot of, um, it's a student-led organization where we do community service, we do competitions at the um, local, um, regional, and state level. And so um, it's a great opportunity. It looks real good on resumes. And um, you're able to develop professional leadership skills and um, a lot of um, interpersonal relationships. Well, I teach Allied Health. Allied Health is a healthcare pathway. Um, we cover respiratory issues like like as a respiratory therapist would do, um, EKGs, starting at IV, um, testing for blood sugar, a lot of um, pretty basic skills. Uh, one of the highlights of the program is being able to go to the hospital and um, go to clinicals where they actually have hands-on activities with the patients and, and assist with caring for them and using some of the skills that they've learned in the classroom. Yes, um, healthcare has a CTSO. It is HOSA, Future Health Professionals. Future Health Professionals are the people that are students that want to pursue healthcare as a career, um, enhancing their ability to um, have leadership skills, working in teams, competitive events. We typically have a pretty good competition team. We've gone to Nashville, California, Dallas, um, all over the United States just competing at a pretty high level. So yes, we have a, a great HOSA organization. 
Um, this is a sports medicine pathway. It is for anybody interested in the medical field, but more so geared towards the um, musculoskeletal area of the medical field. So if you're interested in a career in athletic training or physical therapy, um, orthopedics, this would be the pathway for you. This is a class that if you're in it, it's awesome if this is what you wanna do. But if you're unsure and you kind of are like, oh, well, it'll just be a fun class. All I'll do is tape ankles all day. It is hard. So make sure if you apply, this is something you really are willing to put the time and effort into because it's a very difficult class. We don't have a CTSO because we only have enough students to make about one class per year. Um, it is application based. So after your second healthcare class, you can apply to get in. It's very rigorous. It is not an easy class. So. Um, we don't have enough people to um, actually make a club. So. And once more is... Hey, how y'all doing? My name is Mr. Hall and I teach carpentry here at the high school. Um, my pathway consists of three courses. Uh, Industry Fundamentals and Occupational Safety is the first. It's a basic safety course. The second one's Intro to Construction. And the third course is Carpentry. I do have a CTSO. It's uh, called Skills USA. It takes students and teachers and the workforce, puts them all together, and uh, we have competitions like wiring or framing. Uh, there's automotive, there's welding competitions, there's a whole bunch of different competitions in our CTSO. Uh, we offer several different pathways. Uh, I teach plant science and horticulture, nursery landscape, as well as basic agriculture. So I'm kind of the plant guy. Uh, several different pathways that make through that. Um, for the most part, if you take basic ag and then any other two ag classes, it will make a pathway. Uh, but like I said, I'm mostly the, mostly the plant guy, so if you're interested in plants. Our CTSO is FFA. Uh, we have lots of different opportunities with that. We have uh, many different competitions. Uh, there are two other ag teachers here as well and a young farmer teacher. Uh, so there's uh, Mr. Hodges, Mr. Beasley, and Mr. Kirkland. Um, we are all involved with FFA, so we have different competitions, like I mentioned, ag mechanics, uh, different plant-based ones, animal-related, lots of different competitions as well. We have uh, proficiency awards, which is uh, something that you'll do, or it relates to what you'll do in class. You can win money, you can uh, travel different parts of the state, travel uh, to Indiana and the National FFA Convention if you do well in it. There's lots of different things we offer with that as well. Okay, so the pathways that I'm responsible for will be the forestry and natural resources pathway, which would include basic agriculture, uh, forest science and wildlife management. And I also teach an agribusiness class as well as an animal science class that would be part of the agri-science pathway. Uh, in the forestry class, we spend a lot of time outside learning about the timber industry and learning about how to uh, participate in some of the events in the forestry career development event and also just some of the common practices of foresters. Uh, wildlife management is pretty self-explanatory. We deal with animals, regulations, habitat management, all that kind of stuff. And then animal science, we learn all about farm animals, cows, chickens, hogs, horses, goats, uh, how, to, how to grow them and how to keep them happy and healthy. So the CTSO that goes along with ag classes is the FFA, um, which stands for Future Farmers of America. And although it has farmers in it, we, we really don't do any farming in FFA. Uh, we do a lot of leadership activities. We do a lot of contests, career development events, which is how students learn things in our classroom and then go apply them in real world scenarios. It prepares them for uh, college and, and careers themselves. Uh, our FFA chapter is the largest student organization on campus. We have approximately 300 members this year uh, and that program was really going and, and growing and uh, we are competitive on the state, the area and as well as the national level. So we've had a very successful uh, time with FFA and we look forward to finding something for you to do. I teach the third level class, the entrepreneurship class and the intro class for the business management pathway. And in that pathway, the students focus on recognizing when there's a business opportunity how to start a business, how to operate a business and maintain that business. And then when they're finished or during that pathway, different students have the opportunity to be work-based learning students for the school store and they help run the school store. Our CTSO is FBLA, which stands for Future Business Leaders of America. And 
anything you could possibly think about in the business world, there's different competitions to gain knowledge and skills for that, to network, to get scholarships. It's really up to the student, but we pretty much can find any type of competition and scholarship available for students if they're willing to put forth the effort. Good morning, I'm Judy Beaver, Wayne County High School's Work-Based Learning and Youth Apprenticeship Coordinator. If you are a junior or senior at Wayne County High School and you are on track for graduation, um, I am interested in talking to you about the Work-Based Learning Program. Now I do go back and I look at your attendance to school, your discipline, your teacher recommendations, but my main um, courses that we're looking at is to see if you have had a CTE course. If you had at least one CTE course, my job is to try to place you in a job in your pathway so you can get more experience in that pathway and decide if that's the career field that you want to study beyond high school. So I look forward to working with you your junior or senior year. See me, Judy Beaver, your work-based learning coordinator. Thank you. This is food science pathway. There are three classes in the pathway, food, nutrition, and wellness, food for life, and food science. Um, you can get a science credit for completing the pathway, and you also get a, a cord at graduation for completing the pathway. Um, we do cook in this class. It's not as much as we do some of our uh, material on nutrition. The students always want us to cook more than we actually do. Um, what middle schoolers need to know, probably that family and consumer sciences is available for them to take if they prefer to take this pathway. There are many choices here at the high school that they would not have had at middle school. And then um, the CTSO that is associated with this pathway is family and is FCCLA. It's Family, Career, and Community Leaders of America. And it's a nationwide um, CTSO. You can join if you would like. It's a $15 fee and it's an annual fee. So it's for both semesters that you would be here. Thank you. Hey, I'm Tara Whitaker. I teach um, Intro to Business Technology and I teach Legal Environments of Business at Wayne County High School, which is part of the entrepreneurship pathway. Here in the business department, we offer two pathways. One is entrepreneurship and one is the business and technology pathway. I, intro to business technology is the one that goes for both pathways that we offer. In addition to teaching intro to business technology, I also teach legal environments of business, which is the second course in the entrepreneurship pathway. It's a very fun class and where you learn all about the contracts and laws that go pertaining to running a business and being successful in the workplace. I, we also have a CTSO for the business classes, and that is FPLA, which is Future Business Leaders of America. We are very active in the community. We work with community service and competitions, and we enjoy getting to know people and networking and being successful and how to be a professional member. The name of our pathway is Basic Maintenance and Light Repair. It is for students interested in automotive repair careers. It helps to train in diagnostics and repairs for any type of automobile. We do a lot of what's called live work in the shop, which is actual repairs. We get out and look at the vehicles and diagnose it and then they make the repairs. Also, students are prepared for ASC certification. That's Automotive Service Excellence. They can actually leave the program with a certification that lasts for two years, which is a great step toward a career. and helps very much on their resume when they're applying for jobs. That pretty well covers what we do in here. We're a member of Skills USA as far as CTSO. There are competitions involved at state level, at local levels, and at national levels. So any student interested in doing hands-on work, this is a good pathway to choose. I am Nick Hodges, teacher here at Wayne County High School, teach agricultural education and ag mechanics. In our ag mechanics pathway, we learn vital skills that will help you in almost any job. Our number one skill is employability skills. These skills teach you things like being on time, turning in assigned work, working together as a group, and finishing the job. Most important to finish. And then in my classes, in the Ag Make One class, 
we learn how to perform simple and complex electrical circuits. Also woodworking and carpentry skills, along with lawnmower and tractor driving. Now in AgMech 2, we start out with the cutting torch and then welding different metals together and operating a plasma table and finishing up with a pair to small engines. Our organization is the FFA. In the FFA, we're all about having fun and we do go on monthly, we do have monthly meetings and summer camp and most fun we have is when we go to competitions and we get back late at night. Uh, we have a competition to fit, fit each pathway or class taken. So if you're in the class, whatever you're learning can be applied at a competition. I encourage you to get involved as quickly as you can. We look forward to having you in the largest student organization here at the high school and in America. Make sure to come see us. Okay, so JROTC, Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps, is a leadership education program with the mission of motivating young people to become a better citizen. We try to focus on the uh, core abilities such as uh, building lifelong learning, communication skills, physical fitness, living a drug-free life, and relying on yourself. As of right now, JROTC does not have a CTSO. It's a military-funded organization or program. So the military or Department of Defense or the federal government is actually kind of like our CTSO. Uh, we come together with different JROTC programs to talk about lessons learned and uh, best practices. But as far as a, a, an organization, we don't have a CTSO.